Hello, beautiful. What's up? Oh, oh, you look magnificent. Whoa, did you do something different with your hair? No, wait. Is your makeup different today? You look good. Thank you for being here with me today. We're gonna have a little bit of fun. We're gonna devour these hubs. Bleach, bleach, and more bleach, and more bleach, and more bleach, and everything is bleach, and everything turns into bleach, and everything is bleachy. That is what we're gonna see today, and that is what I'm ready. And I'm buckling in for it, and I'm strapped in on both sides, ready to go on this journey with you. Did that pump you up? Because I got pumped up. Let's see some people bleach the sh** out of the underneath of their hair. Hopefully their hair stays on their head. Let's check it out. As you can see from the title of the video, we're going to be dyeing my hair today. I don't know why I've been itching to change my hair because if y'all know, like back in the fall, I had copper slash like reddish hair. Hold on. I'm stopping the video already because when people say, oh, I've, I've had copper and red hair and then they're going to try and bleach their hair. We are not working with virgin hair, obviously. We have to eat through that already red box colored hair color that's living underneath this black color which is gonna make this whole process 10 times harder but then i got really tired of the red because of my roots started growing in and then i felt like the red really like kind of washed me out a little bit because like i have pink undertones in my skin i don't know if y'all can tell so then i box it with or not box i did this one of the uh wella color charm like hair color thingies it was supposed to be like a darkish like um like a medium brown girl tell me why it came out like pitch black for some reason oh shit the story is building here. We are not just stopping at the red. She also has black box dye on top of the red. It's actually not box dye. It is professional color, but she said it went pitch black. So this is going to be very, very hard to get the red out of her hair. And it's probably going to be flaming fiery orange before she gets anywhere near blonde. And who knows if she's even going to get to blonde because I don't know if that's possible. If you're not subscribed yet, by the way, I don't know if we can be friends because a friend would help a friend get to 10 million subscribers. If you're not a supportive friend, I don't think this relationship can work out. I would love if you press the subscribe button and now I'll entertain you to say thank you for pressing the button. My hair was like really, really, really black for like a month or a couple months like my roots i want to say like probably to here is like all just natural hair color oh god we're getting deeper we now have a root of this much natural hair color so she has to treat her mids and ends different than her roots different than the box color different than the this and the everything is going to be treated differently but i know that she's not going to do that so we're going to get into a lot of issues is what i'm getting at let's unpack this as we go i got the wella color charm powder lightener great choice of lightener i love a little wella color charm it works great it's very strong and gets the job done so sick 30 volume developer slay okay 30 volume is definitely what she's gonna need if she wants to be blonde is her hair probably too compromised to use 30 possibly is her hair probably gonna fall off from using 30 possibly but if she wants to be blonde sometimes you guys things are not possible this might be an example of what is not possible like i would have to see her hair in real life do a test strand to see what developer works best and if the 30 volume is gonna break off her hair because her hair looks fine dry and it's been color treated multiple times it's gonna be very hard to lift off and get a clean result picked up this toner i'm not 100 sure what my hair is gonna look like because again it has red and orange brass colors in it already and then we put brown over it so i have no idea what it's gonna look like i'm that's what i'm really scared for okay we have the t14 toner again i always say this now you can't really pick out a toner until you finish the bleaching process because you never know what toner you're gonna need until you're done bleaching because i already drank my matcha today i'm feeling hyper i want more <laughs> Give me like a hydro flask of matcha. I would and then get more and then more and more and more. I can't get enough of it. I just had my mom help me section off my hair. Now that it's sectioned, I feel like you guys can see way more what I'm talking about when I talk about like my roots and then like all of this is what was once colored. It's gonna lift uneven, which I'm pretty much prepared for, but we're gonna go for it. I like that amount. Definitely, definitely. That looks good. I like that she's leaving a bit so you can see it from the front as well as the back. Like sometimes people go from behind the ear to the other ear and like you can't really see the color. I like that she's starting up a little bit higher here. Okay, guys, I'm gonna start. I'm scared. We're gonna do this, mom. So I'm gonna start off with this back piece, y'all. And just, I cut out tin foil for myself. Also, if my hair falls off, I'm flaming Brad Mondo. Huh? You know what? You guys do whatever the f you want with your hair, okay? But it's not my fault. This is your decision. Do not drag me into this. This is all you. I watched a bunch of his videos, and you know. 
I'm trusting this man. Listen, thank you for watching my videos, but it doesn't make you a professional hairstylist. I know that I give you all the courage and the strength to do your own hair, but it does not give you a hair license just watching my content. Believe it or not. I, of course, like that she's using a foil, but we've been over this a lot in the recent weeks. <laughs> the fact that foils is so hard to do yourself. By the way, I share different ways of doing things every single week because there is no specific one way to do something, especially when it comes to lightener, aka bleach. Another way of doing this instead of putting the foil down, painting the hair in the foil, you can just take the hair, go up to an inch before the root with your 30 volume and bleach, and really smush it in there with your hands. And then get it all so in there that like it can, you could have not missed a single hair. Then, boom, foil, boom, put the hair on top, boom, layer more bleach on there, boom, 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 close it up. That is how you do it well. Otherwise, you're probably gonna miss the inside sort of strands of the hair because this clump is so large and you're just painting right on top and not kind of moving the hair around. Also, I've been saying over and over the other for the past few weeks, layer a foil on top instead of trying to close the foil. It's just easier when you're doing it by yourself. I definitely think that she's missing spots because these sections are too big to handle. And look at that. Oh. Oh, I can see a bunch of strands completely missing the bleach on them. She's gonna rinse this out and there's gonna be lines of dark hair going through and she's gonna blame it all on me. And for that, I say, I am not responsible, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm like, hold this real good, you know? Really trying to saturate the hair. Okay, she's actually doing a better job now of getting all the hair covered. Okay, this could be good. This could be decent. We're doing it, she's working it. She's going around there and she's getting all those strands, baby. It's got some on your regular hair. My mom just finished doing my hair. Um, I'm gonna let it sit for like 20 minutes, but for now, I'm just gonna take some water and I'm just gonna squirt it in. Okay, so she's gotten all the hair strands covered. Hopefully, she covered actually all of them and didn't just layer the bleach on top like I was seeing her doing. But we will see in a moment how good of a job she did or not. Okay, we do not need a bag when we are doing foils. The foils already have that heat inside them. The bag is really just to keep the heat in and the moisture. So you don't need that when you're doing foils. So skip that. Second of all, that is the hardest bag I've ever seen. Is that even made out of plastic? I think it's made out of like cardboard. That thing is hard as a rock. How are you gonna get that on your head? Okay, so I have the bag on my hair. I set a timer for 20 minutes. I'll come and check it and then we'll probably start my roots. I should do like some kind of photography project where it's like showing everybody at home doing their hair color and the different like sculptures they create with foils and bags and color and clips and it's just a beautiful thing. It's it's really quite wild. And they're masterpieces in my mind. Like they are beautiful the way people make these sculptures on their heads. Okay, now it's time to do my roots. I'm gonna need my mom. Okay, we are starting to do the roots. I think I saw in the foils that it was a little bit yellowy orange, which we want it to be pure yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow before we do the roots, okay? So there's no real set time that you need to wait before you do your roots. It's just whenever those ends get really yellow. I think she did a pretty good job saturating them. Do a little extra. I'm just gonna let this bag sit on my head like this. I'm, I'm gonna put a timer for 20 minutes. This side is processed. That was the first one, and this side's catching up, but I still feel like this side could use a little bit more. I think I have like five minutes left. After the 20, I'm gonna open up the foils, check it out, see what the strands are looking like, because at this point now, my ends have been processing for I think like an hour now. Then I'm just gonna hop in the shower and then wash it. Probably in like maybe a week or something, I will try to bleach it again if I feel like I want it to be lighter. Well, hopefully, she doesn't need to bleach it again because her hair was already dry and fine. Not gonna lie, I'm like really f here. Wish my mom was here to see the back, but y'all tell me. Ah! I feel like this side needs more processing. So now is an okay time to remove the foils and reapply 30 volume and bleach if your hair can take it. I cannot feel the integrity of your hair through the screen, unfortunately, so I cannot give super accurate advice on that. But if you feel like your hair can handle it, I would reapply the 30 volume and make sure every single hair strand is covered without those foils in. You can always pull the foils out and reapply. Don't forget that. All right, whatever, I'm gonna take out the foils now. Let me see what we're working with. Dude, my hair is pink, crap. Oh, hell no. Yeah, see, those ends were not light enough. They were not yellow. What the? Ah. Uh. Ah. 
You are not yellow. Sick of this sh you guys. <gasps> This is so bad. Girl. I'm for sure gonna need to do round two. It's horrible. Oh no. That is not good at all. Your ends are still very, very dark, and there's a ton of missing spots, and your roots are yellowy and blonde, and everything's gonna fall apart, and your hair is gonna break up. And and now I have hot roots. Oh my god, I have to go to work like this tomorrow, y'all. Oh my god. Oh, and she has to go to work. <laughs> Bad. I just got out the shower. Um, yeah, this is what it's looking like. It looked better when the bleach was on versus now. I think we did a pretty good job though. For me and my mom, I think we did pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. It's orange. <laughs> I think right now what I'm gonna have to do is tone it. This is the toner I'm gonna use. Oh, hell no. You said you watched my videos. Why would I ever tell you to use T14 on brown hair? That's like straight up blue pigment, I think. Comment below if, you're, if I'm wrong. I don't feel like looking it up right now. I don't know everything about every color line. Oh my God. That's not the right color for you, unfortunately. That is for a blonde head of hair and you, miss, have brown, orange, yellow hair. I don't even know, man. The girl, she said this one has the most blue colors in it and it's gonna be the strongest for the orange. That's what it looks like. T14. You're dead ass. Gonna put that on top of your brown hair and expect that your hair turns gray. <laughs> it's almost like I never taught anybody anything. That's not a good feeling, you know? I mixed it up and it says to leave on for 30 minutes, so I'm just gonna brush this through my hair. I'm gonna put on some gloves and then just kind of literally rub it through my hair. Let it sit for 30 minutes and I'm gonna wash it out and then we'll see what we get. What makes me also really sad is that you guys waste your money on these things and your time. Like you buy the complete wrong thing and then you use it and you wait an hour and then you realize it didn't work, even though I already told you it wasn't gonna work. What is this? I'm in my bathroom now, my mom's house, but this is what it looks like. Like obviously the pieces that are really light, like my roots, they turned kind of ashy, but honestly, like you can't even tell it's blonde. You can just tell it's like an orangey copper color right now. It looks nearly the same, obviously, because that was the completely wrong toner. We're gonna have to bleach it again. And then I have like hot ashy. Hot ass roots. This is my hair after, I think the last thing I showed you guys last night was me getting out of the shower after I toned my hair. So yeah, obviously my roots are platinum as and yeah, it's actually so much more ashy and darker compared to like last night. Um, the toner really did help. I feel like the toner made it like more of a wearable color versus just like that straight orange, like, you know, color that we were seeing yesterday. I am gonna bleach it again. Okay, so she left her hair like that for about two weeks or something. And now she's on to the next process. And yes, we are bleaching again. I'm sure until the hair falls off. <laughs> <laughs> brighter though. Sometimes what can happen is you bleach your hair and that follicle is still blown up and fat and letting some color molecules slip out. So the more you wash it, sometimes it gets a little bit lighter. My hair was bright copper orange and then it was like pink when I was bleaching it and then it was pink when I did color remover like four times and then I was like, well, whatever. And then I washed my hair a couple times and it all came out. So sometimes that can happen. There are certain pieces of my hair where it's light and dark. She said she's gonna try to spot treat it herself. So we'll see how that goes. Ah, why is there stripes everywhere? I don't want things to actually. My shirt looks kind of like your hair, which is something you never want to happen. Okay, we don't want stripes. We want that shit clean, one shade, beautiful, ooh, 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 clean, gorgeous, all together, fabulous, clean. So we're gonna start on the opposite side. So we've been starting on my left side the whole time, the two times we bleached it. We're gonna start on the right today, so that way it can start processing on a little bit faster. Here we go again. <laughs> We're working around the head again, doing the same process again. I forgot to mention, my hair's been processing for about 30-ish minutes now. We're gonna do the roots, let the roots sit for about 15 minutes, and then that should be a total of 45 minutes. We just went with my game plan. She just did my root. We'll see how this goes. I'm gonna let them sit for about 10 to 12-ish minutes, and then I'll come talk to y'all. It looks like we're getting some other darker hair mixed into that stuff we already lightened. <laughs> and we don't want to do that. We only want to lighten the stuff that's already lightened. Why are we getting the new? Why are we getting more brown in there? What's going on with that? I must know the answer. Y'all, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm feeling a little... 
a little a little scared me too i wish i would have gone on camera but when me and my mom washed my hair we were washing it in the tub and it was just a whole disaster like we got the whole bathroom wet i wouldn't say chunks but like a good amount of hair started falling out and my hair just felt gummy <sighs> Okay, somebody press play. Oh wait, I'm the only one here. It felt like there was like so much conditioner in my hair, but there was barely any conditioner in my hair. It didn't want to dry. Pieces of it were falling out. At that moment, I knew my hair was full. Uh, we're currently doing this side now. I've let this side sit for about, I think like 30 to 35 minutes. Her hair is so fucked. I'm gonna let my roots sit for probably like 10 to 12. And yeah, this side, I'll show you guys this side once I'm done, but it's not looking too good. I'm not gonna lie, it's not looking good at all. Oh, I just paused on the perfect clip. Her hair is snapped off. She, girl, ugh, that hair is gummy and broken at the same time. This is the end result of this bleaching session. I feel like it's more on the lighter side, but not necessarily platinum. My hair did break off like on this side it broke off significantly and on this side it's pretty good i did way less time though i did 30 minutes on the mids and the ends how is she not freaking out the entire right maybe your left side of her head has a piece that is this long compared to the other pieces that are supposed to be this long it is completely chewed off and broken are you really gonna keep going there's so much time left in this video it is so snapped off in the front of her hair holy shit it definitely looks blonder. She sacrificed hair, but it's not blonde enough, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm gonna go home and then tone it at my boyfriend's house and we'll see what we get then. Then I'm gonna put this in like a bun or something um, and then try to dye this part of my hair like a really dark brown. Girl, you've done enough. Put the bleach down. No more toning and this and that and the other thing. I can't stop clacking my rings today calm down put it all down so i ended up getting two toners and i picked up this color charm demi permanent hair color in the color 3n it's medium neutral brown that's what i'm going to be using to paint all over my normal hair more of the t14 your hair is not light enough you have to do something that is darker but this is definitely going to tone her hair it's probably going to turn it like a grayish mucky color would recommend doing something at a level eight like your hair is a and a something could make it still bright but a little more cool toned i ended up just using the whole bottle of sauna because i don't know for some reason it didn't seem like a lot when i used half the bottle the last time i felt like a lot i'm not even gonna lie i'm like so freaking over this already why did i think doing my hair was really not gonna be that hard and it's actually so hard so stressful everybody thinks that i don't know why it just looks really easy because i cut up these videos so beautifully and my editor too and so you just make it look so easy. Like everything's gonna be just like bing, bang, boom, one minute, ooh, done. But it's not like that. All right, we're toning the hair. It's probably gonna be an ugly gray color, but we'll see. So I just got out the shower. This is what it's looking like. Guys, like my hair is so damaged. I've never seen my hair in such bad shape before. Was it worth it? Was it really worth it? No, I don't think so. I think I really should have just not done this, but oh well. Of course the toner damaged your hair more. You just use a 20 volume where you're already falling out hair. It is blonde though. <laughs> Honestly, I'll take this over the yellow any day though. I will say that. I love the color that it's at right now. I will update you guys when my hair is fully dry though. Is it like as bright white as I wanted it to be? No, but it's definitely blonde. It's definitely light. Definitely not my favorite, but it's it's whatever. I mean, I know I don't sound like that happy and that enthusiastic because again, like my hair is so damaged. So I really like it. It wasn't worth it, but it's too late now, y'all. Really too late now. <laughs> That's it? That's the reaction you give me? We get all this way and you're just like, it's fine. It looks chill, looks fine. Not loving it, not hating it. I thought you were gonna be excited about this since seeing as your hair actually looks blonde and actually looks wearable now. I think it's fun. I wish we got like a blowout look. Like where was the look at the end? What the hell? Why are you so not happy about this? I'm more angry that she's not happy than I am with the results. The results aren't like optimal. They're definitely a little spotty. It's a little yellowy orange and a little bit of gray, but it's definitely pretty damn good for how dark her hair started at. Like we got somewhere for sure. I'm more happy for you than you are for yourself. Make sure you give this video a like too if you haven't already. Jesus, must I remind you, please help 
Help, pass me a like, please, please. We're gonna be bleaching my hair. Now, I'm not bleaching all of it. As you can see, some of it is already blonde, but this is my natural color right here, and I wanna go platinum. I got full head highlights for, I'd say over the course of a year and a half, eventually my whole head was blonde. Okay, we are starting off with very curly hair, which also means the hair is dry because curly hair is always more dry than straight hair. And it is already color treated to blonde. So she's trying to kind of get the rest to that same blonde level, which is also really, really f difficult. And also I just realized her title says Brad Mondo would be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the bottom of the hair has highlights going through the entire strand. That is the hardest <laughs> type of palette to work with if you're trying to go fully blonde. To try and pick out all those dark strands that the light strands don't over process is so tedious and difficult and takes so much time. My bathroom is no longer a bathroom, it is a salon. So I grabbed a scale. Wow, very luxurious and professional setup you got going on here. Very beautiful. I grabbed a lot of toners from Blonde Me as well as the bleach in tone. Apparently this is really good to use with the bleach. Um, it's to help get rid of some of that brassiness as it's processed. Um, I still haven't decided on what color I want. I do have in here lilac, ice, this is clear, and then biscuit. Wait, what? <laughs> lilac, clear, and biscuit? What? I thought you were going blonde. I'm confused. Why would you want to put a lilac additive into your bleach if you're trying to go blonde? We're not trying to go pink or purple. I have two different volume developers. So I have a seven volume. This will be going on my roots. I have the 20 volume. This will be going on my mids. The seven volume will also be going on my ends. That's what we're working with. Okay. Whoa. This is very, 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 very impressive. She's putting a seven volume on her roots and and then doing a 30 volume on our ends. And that is a great idea. I always tell you guys that you can just do a very low developer on your roots versus a higher developer on your ends so that you get the same kind of heat distribution going on and the same kind of time that it takes to develop the hair. The, the be, be, boop, boop, pop. You get what I'm saying. Or probably not. You probably have no idea what I'm saying. And that's also okay. Yeah, it's definitely a different technique than people usually do, which is do the roots last. So I'm excited to see this way being done by an inexperienced hairstylist. She's not a hairstylist. She's just a normal person, but just somebody, a normal person. I did use like like 40 grams of powder and therefore 80 grams of the developer and then I mixed in that toner. Okay, so she is applying 30 volume from roots to ends, just all at once with a foil. That's not it. We definitely wanna hit the mids first in the foil and then wait until they get yellow and then do the roots. I did wrap it in foil. This was probably the trickiest part for me. I think my sections weren't small enough or I probably should have like separated this in half and then tried, but I would like scrunch it and then put another piece of foil on top and then pull the previously bleached hair out. That way it wasn't processing with the other bleach because obviously it's already already pretty light. Loving the sculpture she's doing on the back of her head, it's sick. My hair is currently cooking. I have about 12 minutes left. I put a 40 minute timer on just to see where we're at. I have been checking it just a little bit. I checked the base and the base has lightened up quite a lot and I decided on a toner. I think I'm gonna pass on the lilac for today. I want to just go like white almost. So I'm thinking mixing biscuit and ice together. Oh! When I hear the word white, I got really kind of shaky because when the hair is this dark and you're trying to go white, that just probably ain't gonna happen. Probably not. Biscuit has a little bit of like a warm tone to it. Ice is just straight up like white, but I want some softness. You can't plan your toner formula while there's still f color in your hair. Sorry, it's not you, it's everybody. You can't plan your toner formula until you know what your results are and what you're trying to tone. You can't do that. You don't, you don't even know if your hair is going to get light enough. This is what I'm working with right now. I put saran wrap on this section here because this was exposed to the air and to keep it nice and warm um, and cooking properly, I did put the saran wrap on top. As if your roots needed any more heat, we put plastic wrap on it to make it even warmer on those roots so they get even brighter than the midsection. I'm gonna add in more bleach to the ends here because these ends are blonde already, but they're not gonna need as much time to process. So I'm gonna mix up some more bleach and some seven volume to lighten those ends. They might snap off. They might snap off. Yeah, well, I'm glad you know because they very well might snap off. I am a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie to you. I have no idea if it really lightened that much because it's blue. I really can't tell. I really wanted this to go well. We all wanted it to go well. We all wanted it to go well. We all did. I said screw it, I'm just gonna take it out. 
Thank you. Not 100% sure where I went wrong in this process. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm just like sporadically adding more seven ball to the bottom. Your hair is not light enough to be lightening the rest of it. It is not even close to being light enough. Why are we taking the bleach off when it hasn't even really processed yet? Oh, I'm so tired. I think this is all my hair will lighten for right now. And I think I'm cool with that. I don't want to overdo it and have my hair fall out. I mean, it's definitely blonde, but not as light as I was hoping for. It looks a little like on the brown side. I don't know if it's because of the toner that's in here. No, it's just because this needs to stay on your hair for like probably an hour or more. Like it's, a, bleaching the hair is a very slow, long, tedious process that takes so much patience and know-how and time and everything. It's a lot. <laughs> I love being long because it's like, hey, yeah, I worked really hard to get this color. Yeah, it was so much work. And like, now, here I am. So, um, this was really splotchy somehow. I'm really surprised. Uh, this is like the very obvious curl that just didn't lift at all. Like, okay, I'm actually not gonna lie, guys. Usually, I'm a little dramatic. She actually got a pretty even result for what she just did and all the shit she just put her hair through. This actually does not look bad. She seems disappointed. I am thrilled. Look at the color difference. It's crazy. She definitely missed some pieces, though. Yeah, there's there's some strands going through there that are definitely too dark. This is the other side. Not as bad, but still rough. Like, some pieces are almost white. They're, like, gray, as you can see. This is why I did the bottom of my hair. Trial and error. Should I have done a smaller portion? Maybe. I don't know. How's the back look, though? What? We are one too many different colors. Oh, but the nape of the neck, baby, is over-processed, and that is because of all that heat. The hair is also much more fine on the hairline, so you're getting it over-processed, and if you keep processing that hair, it's gonna snap the f off. I've already mixed up the bleach. I'm only gonna use seven volume developer since my hair is already pre-lightened. I thought that 20 might be a little bit too much. Now, if we come to find out that it's not enough, then so be it. We are going round. With the bleach. I went ahead and picked out the white pieces of hair and then instead of using the brush this time I solely used my fingers. It was a lot smoother and faster of an application than the previous time I used foils. Fingies are the way to go. You don't even need to use a brush most of the time. I know all us professionals out there you like to use a brush but I swear you can use your fingers too. These are great tools. I like really want to make sure I get it worked in here. Yeah that's what I like to see. Scrub a dub dub on the hair. I just washed the bleach out and it it's slightly better, but not that much better. I feel like I could have honestly done without bleaching it again. Sometimes trying to break through that yellow barrier on the hair takes a lot of time and a lot of bleach. And sometimes it's really scary because you almost push the hair beyond what it can be pushed to. Oh, I'm feeling a little tired. The hair can be, whoa, hello. <laughs> yeah, you're just pushing it too far. Some point. I must have been high because the difference is night and day. I definitely needed that second round of bleach because the toner wouldn't have taken to it like at all. But as you can see here, like I'm making sure that I'm fully saturating my hair in the toner to make sure that I get a more even color. I really should have done the base of my head because you can see the line of demarcation. Yeah, why don't we bleach the roots again? What happened there? Tell me! I'm just gonna go ahead and bleach my whole head. I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, sorry. I may have skipped forward. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna come clean. And then um, the toner did nothing. And then now I'm on this screen where she says, I'm just gonna bleach my whole head. Let me just. <sighs> okay. Wish me luck. I'm gonna be quick because my camera's gonna die. As you can see, my hair is all over the place. I rushed the bleach process on top. I shouldn't have. This side is definitely more orange, but we are gonna fix it. We're just not gonna do it anytime soon. Okay, well, everything's happening at speed of light all of a sudden, and I don't even know where we are because she just she just bleached it again, and now her whole head is bleached. What the fuck? It is multicolored. It is orange. It is yellow. It is white. It is all kinds of things going on. It is... Spooky. Hey guys, <laughs> this is several weeks later and another bleach session later and this is what my hair looks like I just toned it with some purple conditioner. Okay, it is definitely brighter So she better not bleach this again because it is dangerous Um, but it's also yellow in some areas So I would love if she straightened her hair and then bleached only those parts that show yellow It's important to get the hair straight at this point It just makes the canvas a lot easier to look at and see the differences in tone and only spot correct those pieces So definitely straighten it before you do the next round, which I think she's not gonna do an extra round of bleach. I hope not. Like over the past few weeks, I've been using this and this helps remove some of the yellow. Like my hair was pretty yellow this morning and I sat this or had this sit for about 
15 minutes. She ended up toning her hair with shimmer lights, which is not what I recommend. It's a little bit too drying, but I'm kind of happy she didn't end up going with permanent color again because her hair would have fallen off. I'll show you guys what it looks like in natural light because this light definitely makes my hair look a lot more yellow. I mean, I feel like this is more accurate to show you. This is like natural light right here. I might come back and show you it dry. Okay, like I said, I'd be back when it was dry. It's like 80% uh, dry, I'd say. Right in here, it's still pretty damp, but this is what it looks like. Like I said, like in here, it looks a little bit more brown because I was using that Blonde Me toner, but it wasn't taking to the rest of my hair. It's literally only in this like section right here. So I just went in with the purple shampoo because the rest of this was like yellow, yellow. <laughs> And I just wanted it to be a little bit more tone. I mean, obviously there are a bunch of different tones happening right now, a um, bunch of different colors. So I'm just living with it at the moment. It's fine, all is good. <laughs> Yeah, it's not great. It's not the most optimal result for sure. I don't think it's the right tone for you. But luckily what you can do now is just tone your hair darker. I think a level eight would look awesome. Like a neutral level eight, something with warmth in it. I feel like this color is kind of sucking the life out of your skin, to be honest with you. And I feel like you need something a little bit warmer. I think the orange hair looked more complimentary to your skin tone than this cool tone color mixed with orange pieces. I would recommend using my super gloss mask. This stuff will make your hair so incredibly shiny. This is the shade 5N, which is a very dark brown brown color. This stuff gives you rich, pigmented, really, really shiny hair color in just a few simple steps and just 15 minutes of your time. There's no risk involved because it's just setting permanent colors. You are not going to damage it. And in fact, your hair is going to feel and look better than ever before when you use this mask. And in fact, this is actually really, really good for your hair. Think of it as a really deep conditioning mask mixed with a glossing treatment, all in one, super easy to apply formula. And you get multiple uses out of one single jar, super gloss. We also have different colors and we have a clear formula if you don't want to color your hair any type of color. And you just want all the benefits of glossing your hair. Super great, and it'll be linked below if you want to check it out. And I did create it, but it is seriously awesome. Not my favorite result. I also kind of like the really dark hair on you better. Just a preference, but take it or leave it. Make sure you stay to the end of the video to vote on what your favorite look is. I want to know what your opinion is. So let's get through the next one, and then you can vote. I'm gonna bleach and turn blonde the under layer of my hair. I watched lots of videos, specifically Brad Mondo, who is hopefully not watching this right now during some sort of fail reaction video. We'll say goodbye to that nice feeling hair because it is about to go down in the trash. Your hair is going to be dry boots. It is going to be sizzled down the hall. And her hair is dark as hell. Another person with dark as hell, motherfucker. Hair. You can kind of see, I used this last night. <laughs> hair color remover to try and get rid of some of the purple pigment. Yeah, it didn't work because it's, this is like five years worth of just constantly trying to put it in, but it's very faded now. Oh, and we have purple over this dark hair too. <laughs> We have another huge color moment to go. Oh my God. I thought our hair was naturally just this dark. No, it's colored this dark. So it's going to be even more impossible to get this out of her hair. <laughs> Guys, have we been through enough yet? Have me and you been through enough? Clearly not because I keep torturing myself. Also, before I get yelled at, I did use developer. I used 20 because I have some, I have some grays. Oh, okay, so she's coloring the top of her hair dark first and she has it all over her face. This is not a good sign. We can't even get the color on correctly. Now we're gonna try and bleach the underneath of her hair correctly. Great. I think I did a pretty okay job, the back. It's not good, <laughs> but I'm hoping because it's under my hair, nobody will know. But I think this is a good amount to be blonde. That's a lot of hair to be blonde. I'm into it. That'll be fun and exciting and a big change for you. I don't think I showed my bleach that I bought. Hair haul, I got, <laughs> this one was recommended, the Ion Bright White Cream Lightener. And then I got a 30 developer. 30 volume and cream lightener. Okay, we'll go with that, good choice. That is definitely gonna have a lot of power to lift this hair nice and bright. Honestly, if this video has taught me anything, it's um, how valuable hair colorist, stylist, you're all amazing because <laughs> I thought I researched so much and have literally spent so much time and I still feel like I'm messing this up. Yeah, it's really hard to get good at doing hair. I swear. For somebody like me who's never been to hair school and has never done hair in his entire life, you wonder how I know so much? Just kidding. It's just what people say about me. I was just making a joke. I've done hair school. I've done it all. I'm not having a little shit just from like chilling and vibing. It's gonna be a little hard to do this on camera. I'll do the first one on camera and then use your imaginations. It'll just be literally me the whole time going, Okay, and yes I did, I got foil because I'm thinking the ends of my hair need it, but I learned, thanks to Brad, that you have to do your ends 
first, ends and then middle, and then leave your scalp for the end because that's gonna develop the fastest. I'll do the ends in the middle, wait 20 minutes, and then do my scalp, and then wait another 20 to 30 minutes. There's no set time you should wait. It's just when the hair gets yellow, we should apply it to the roots. Nice and bright, bright, bright yellow. I mean, I'm giving myself a headache from saying this so many times. Do we get it now? Can somebody repeat that in the comment section? Maybe I'll pin it or something. Oh God, I just, I start, just started doing it while talking. I wasn't paying attention to like the gravity of this situation. Like I can't turn back now. Stop using the brushes at this point, guys. Just throw the brushes away. You need to get the hair strand all covered. Smoosh it around, boop, 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 boop. Get it on every single strand. Oh, my hair is so thick and I'm supposed to, that's the only thing I learned from Brad. Thank you, Brad. You're supposed to glob it on. I'm globbing it on. Don't be scared with the lightener, ladies or fellas. It's gonna damage the hell out of your hair no matter how much you use. I also learned that bleach likes to be moist. It's a little hard to do in the camera, but I'm gonna go to like about here. What in the f what are we doing right now? Why did we put the foil on the end and now we're trying to go up to the midsection? What? Oh my god, you are going to miss so many spots everywhere by doing this. This is the worst technique ever. I don't know how she came up with this. She said she watched so many videos on how to do this. How did you end up going this path? Nobody's doing this. And I will check back in with you guys when I get all the ends and like midsections done. It looks like she's teasing it. It's like a big knot. <laughs> It is lightning really fast. I only just finished putting like the bottom part. Don't let it fool you. That is still red. It is dark and it is definitely not light enough. I haven't done the roots yet, but I think I'm about to because that took about 20 minutes just to do the hair. But I'm really excited because yeah, look. <gasps> It's lightening so fast. You gotta keep the foil on there though. You're gonna expose it to the air and it's not gonna lighten. We need the foil. We need to keep the heat in there. It's like it's like baking something in an oven, guys. We don't open the oven door and let all the heat come out. Actually, some people do and it drives me crazy. You gotta keep that door closed. Keep the heat in. You have to. Oh God. It's turning pink down here, which I figured it would do. I love it so much already. Bobby came in and helped me do the back area, but he thinks I should do another pass. The max I can have this in is another 15 minutes. Wait the 15 minutes, rinse it out, dry it, and then I'll be back and see where we're at. What you should do instead of rinsing it out, cause it's not light enough at all. Her ends are like purple. Her mids are yellow and orange. She should just take out these foils and reapply the 30 volume and bleach. So it kind of repowers that bleach again. That way you can skip the whole process of rinsing, blow drying and brushing and all that stuff. That also causes damage because you don't want to keep pulling on the hair while it's in such a fragile state. You want to just get all that bleaching done all at once. <laughs> well, first of all, my makeup is all over the place. Ah, that looks bad. As you can see, it's not blonde. It's like red or pink. It's not the worst color. It's also damaged already. Yeah, so I obviously have to do it again. You may also notice that I didn't do enough, I don't think. My problem now is I don't want to bleach my hair more than twice. Even twice, I was iffy about. It is red on the bottom. It is yellow on the top. It is all different colors. And she said she didn't bleach enough of her hair. So she's gonna go over that again and try to go up higher this time and it's gonna be a disaster. This is the new parting. Yeah, look how much brown I miss. I was too scared, I think the first time around. So we're just gonna hope for the best. And we'll hope maybe, cause it'll be like all different tones of blonde probably over here. We'll just, we're just gonna hope that it kind of looks cool. Oh yeah. It's gonna be every tone of blonde you could possibly imagine. It's maybe the lightest my hair has ever been in my life. This side looks not as light. I feel like I drenched. I tried to drench both sides. The way we're treating everything the same is so scary. Like everything is going to be all different colors. Oh, she's gonna have 85 tones of blonde on her head. This is gonna be a disaster. What are these foils too? See what I'm saying with the hair sculptures. In the mirror, it kind of looks dark back there. I tried to like really massage it in. I guess it doesn't matter because you're not gonna see it. I think we're gonna see it. I just hope I did enough hair. It's gonna be so two-toned. I'm just hoping some of the pink comes out. Just want to document. I'm a little scared because I don't know what this is. That's the hair you just bleached newly because you separate out new hair. Yeah, that's going to look bad. It's going to look really dark right there. Whatever you do, don't rinse this out yet. There's definitely pieces in it that are brown. There's lots of red still. It's very possible that this toner doesn't work, but it's all I have. We're going to see what happens. Toner's in and it's not looking too bad. I think it's going to have a little bit of a pink tint, like a rose gold tint. T10. That's why I was saying I wasn't sure it's gonna pick it up, but it looks okay. I kind of like how the color's coming out. Pale blonde? Your hair is red and pink and orange. What the, the, the fuck are we 
like a pale blonde. That's not gonna do anything. I feel like I say the same thing every fucking week of my life. There's definitely some strands of brown, which I'm not thrilled about. It is what it is, because I'm not a professional. So we'll see. We'll see what this does. So far, the yellow is gone, and the orange is gone from up here. We need something darker so that everything ends up at the same tone. You have to go with the darkest strand of that section. So if the darkest strand is like a dark, blondy pink color, you gotta do something at that same level. It's hard to tell through the computer. You can't do something that's the blondest or else the dark parts are gonna stay the same and then the blonde parts are gonna be toned nicely. It doesn't work like that. I don't hate it. It's not perfect. Hopefully there's no hairdressers cringing at it right now. You might be. It's definitely way blonder up here, which I anticipated because your roots always get a lot more blonde. But I think my issue was I tried to add more hair the second round. Obviously, like, I still have some hairs that, like, didn't make it in that should have been blonde and aren't. I have some hairs that are, like, really red still. Oh, this is what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a whole lot going on. She explained it already. So this is what remains of five years of purple. Also, I think this side, I should have done more. Like, this probably should have been blonde maybe because when my hair is down, if I don't fix it, you can see the blonde on this side a lot more than this. <laughs> what I found is kind of cute for right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are we going from here though? Because I, I, it doesn't look great. You guys already know that I'm gonna say that. So today's the day I get my hair cut. Thanks to my mother-in-law. Hi. I kept mentioning was gonna fix my hair. Beautiful. Bobby's mom speaking, and I cut this. I'm amazing. Look at my amazing job. And I'm Lauren, and I love my haircut. It's really great. It makes it look way better. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I saw that she recruited somebody to come help her with her hair. I think that other woman was her as a hairstylist, but we didn't change the hair color. Final thoughts. I'm down in my office. I feel like the lighting in here makes it look a lot warmer than it looks in real life. I don't know why. It's just a lot more vibrant down here. Like, it looks more like a golden blonde. I really like it. Like, the haircut made it look way better. I am finding myself constantly touching it because there's so many ways to wear it. Okay, because she said she was only going to bleach it twice and I guess she's just sticking to that. Ah, I'm disappointed because we were so close to getting this good. She just needs to re-bleach those mids and ends again to get them lighter and brighter. Or she could just do like a pink, like a dark pink over everything that would look so pretty with her hair. I would love it. Or a purple, but purple kind of blends it with black a little bit. So I would prefer like a bright pink or orange or something just fashion color. So this looks more refined and nicely done and not like we did it at home and kind of messed it up a little bit, which we did, which people, nobody has to know. She seems like she likes it, so that's good. And I don't mind it. It's just not my favorite, favorite look ever. I like it. I think it suits me. I'm honestly very relieved to not have the purple anymore. I'm very relieved to have a change. I don't think I realized how much I needed a change until I actually did it. And now I just feel like so much more refreshed and better. <laughs> That's where we ended it. I mean, it's definitely a big before and after. There was definitely a big change. So good with that. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Minnie Quinn, please. I need to finish this video. Please stop. She still has the ballroom updo in her hair from last week's video, and um, she's begging for me to take it out because it's painful. <laughs> Enough. I'm almost done. Anyways, vote on your favorite look, please. These are all the different looks. I liked Adamari's the best. I think she looked great. I think it was nice. None of the looks in today's video were my favorite, but that was my most liked of the whole video. And make sure to check out my hair care brand, xmodohair and xmodohair.com. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.